Welcome everybody, this is CP Cards and Dice, and I'm bringing to you another stream uh, of a 2015 Met game. This is a what-if scenario in the summertime. This all started in the summertime where I was traveling and I decided I was going to take Replay Baseball with me, and I had just purchased a nine-team set from Replay for about $30, I think it was. The... Uh, I think it's the whole season, about 55. So I said, well, I don't know if I'm going to play the whole season. Let me just play the Mets. And let me start off uh, with the 2015 playoff teams. So I took that with me, and I started off playing the Mets and the Dodgers series. And um, I got to game six. In other words, the Dodgers are up three to two. And I got, kind of got disgruntled <laughs> because the Mets weren't up and I was afraid they were going to lose the next game and I'd be uh, disappointed. So I stopped playing for a while, uh, for a while, right? That's a, a six months is, I guess, for a little while. But I'm back. And I want to do a tutorial because I, um, I want to get other people into replay baseball. It's a, it's a fun system. And I think other people should know how to play. And there's, there's, there's some tutorials out there. Um, and mine is going to be, you know, a little bit different, I think. And uh, maybe I'll be the tutorial that people say, oh, wow, okay, I get this game now. Um, and I'm going to try it out. And I think that's a, good, that's a good thing. That's a positive thing. So we're going to start off with Matt Harvey on the mound. And he's going to be facing uh, the pitcher for the Dodgers named Brett Anderson. Brett Anderson. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole – well, you know what? Um, yeah, I'm just going to start playing. I'm going to I'm going to read to you the lineups, and then I'm going to start playing, and um, and then I'm going to go from there. So let's see how far I get without crashing and burning. I'm hoping to do three innings. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be Howie Kendrick leading it off. It's going to be Rollins, Jimmy Rollins. It's uh, shortstop, batting second. At first base is Adrian Gonzalez batting third. Batting fourth is Turner. Let me grab these guys. Um, Justin Turner at third base batting cleanup. Batting fifth is Andre Ethier in the fifth spot and right field. Batting sixth in left field is Carl Crawford. Batting seventh is the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Enrique Hernandez batting eighth and playing center field. And then finally, it's the pitcher hitting card number one, Brett Anderson batting ninth. So let's get started. Let's start rolling the way you play replay baseball. It's pretty simple. That's your column. And both cards have a column. Um, even though really 
it's a pitcher batter interaction. So really, according to the instructions, you read the batter card first. So I'm going to read the, I, I don't know if it makes a difference. Um, which card you read first, because you got to read them both anyway, pretty much. But I think you read the batter card first, because the batter card can take you to a number that's going to be on the ballpark card. I'm not exactly sure why you have to read that, to be honest. I'm not totally sure. I don't really care too much about it. But uh, I'm going to show you how to read the numbers and how to look at the, um, the chart. There's columns. The chart has six columns. It's pretty simple. I'm going to keep it simple. There's some things I'm not going to go into because I want to keep it super simple. This is like a starter version of replay baseball. If you want to try out the game and you want somebody to kind of go, you know, uh, 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 run you through it, you know, in a simplistic fashion, um, then this is the video for you. I think I, I'm, I'm going to, I don't think it's going to be overly simplistic. Because this could be like the first video before you get to watch somebody else who goes into other aspects. So I think every video has its, uh, serves a purpose and it fills somebody's uh, need for information or some sort of information. So I may focus on one thing while baseball demos focus on, uh, on another aspect or while ID gesture fo focuses on another aspect of the game and so on and so forth. And if you watch all of them, it's like a puzzle and everything kind of fits in to, hey, this guy show, showed me this, how to do this really, really well, uh, you know, and this guy showed me how to do this really, really well, and this other guy showed me how to do this, and then all of a sudden you become an expert, and maybe you can do some of these videos and help other guys try different games because there's so many games out there, and I think we should give them all a try to see which game do we really feel that we, wow, we get our, you know, the most enjoyment from. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm making, I have a, uh, I'm making a little drink here, like a spritzer. So they do a lot of this in Spain where they mix uh, a little cerveza with uh, soda and do a splash of soda, uh, cerveza into your uh, soda. And I'm drinking that on the side. All right. Let's get started. So the, the red one is your column. That's going to tell you if I roll the two, it would be column two on the, uh, batter and on the pitcher. I'm going to try to remember to go up like that. Um, actually, let's see if I, I'm going to go down. Let's see if I'm going to go down. That'll be easier for me to remember, All right? From top to bottom, like you read a book, you start at the top. You don't read the book at the bottom and then work your way up. Um, so that would be your column. There's six columns on each card. And then you're going to read your white die is going to be your batter card right here. And then your blue die is going to be your pitcher die, and the numbers are blue. The numbers are black because the uh, uh, dots are black, and then the numbers are blue, and uh, the columns are red, and that tells you the columns. So that's a little way of, of learning and memorizing this. So here goes. Who's that over there? Glenn was in the house or is in the house. And, yeah, great components, absolutely. And I went through the components the other day. They're nice quality cards. Um, this is the chart book. It's really nice. You can kind of bang it up, and it's a trifold, right? Glossy, so it's not going to get all grimy and filthy and dirty. And it's not a loose piece of paper, right? Like you know, toilet paper. So uh, these cards are pretty nice. Um, these cards are, you know, they're one ten pound cardstock. Okay, not glossy. They're not as good as the, I'll be honest with you, they're not on the level of payoff pitch. I mean, come on. And I, I really don't want to get sidetracked too much. I want it to be a tutorial. But, uh, you know, this is a uh, – and I'll get – I have my, my 2015. I'm playing payoff pitch 2015 too. I did that a lot because I replayed uh, – I don't know what I replayed. Oh, I replayed Bartolo Colon season. That was, that was a blast. Bartolo Colon – Playing Bartolo Colon is a blast. There you go. This is the payoff pitch, Matt Harvey. And this is gorgeous. I mean, it's glossy. It's real thick. You know? Um, and this is the a replay. So, again, but that's not fair because you're. this is like, you know, you're comparing a Maserati, you know, to, to a bicycle. <laughs> you know? So that's not fair. Uh, but it's not about – it's not really about comparing this – game company to any other game company. This is a great game company and has a lot to offer. So let's focus on that. So don't get me sidetracked, Glenn. 
All right, so let's go back and we're gonna start rolling. All right, Howie Kendrick. Now the stats are at the bottom of the card. He batted uh, 295 in 464 at bats. All right, so we read the column red. That's the column, right? And then we're gonna read a five. So we're gonna be uh, column one on Howie Kendrick's card. And it's gonna be row five, which is a three, right? So column one, row five is a three, and then column one, one is a one. And now you go to column one, because you're, this is the column, right? So I'm gonna look at column one, look at column one, and what we decided was, it was a, a five, which was a three on the batter card, and then a one, which was a one, so that's a three and a one is a four, and two to six, is a strikeout. Anytime you ever roll a two to six or a result, you get the result, not roll, but you get the result of two to six, it's always going to be a strikeout. So you'll always remember that. And if there's runners on, they hold automatically. That's going to be an automatic. So you can learn a lot of these numbers and it makes the game go a lot faster. Guess what? In column two, two to six, strikeout. And if you're playing modern seasons, guess what? There's going to be a lot of strikeouts, so you're going to not you're going to learn that pretty quick. So we're going to write that in there. So that's a K for Kendrick. So, and now this also has bat, uh, pit, uh, batters faced twenty five, so he can go twenty five. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's eighteen, twenty seven. So that's going to be. Uh, I believe 25 is going to be here. I believe it's going to be there. So that, because I'm going to kind of, um, I'm not going to skip innings. I'm just going to go kind of straight down so I can remember that. That's where he starts getting tired if he gets it that far. So there's a K, and it's going to be Jimmy Rollins, the ex, the longtime Philadelphia Philly. Jimmy Rollins comes to the plate. He's a switch hitter and against Matt Harvey. Matt Harvey was had a 271 ERA and almost 200 innings pitched. Yes. In 2015, after being out with Tommy John the whole 2014 season, this is one of the great mysteries of baseball. All right? And I want you to tell me. But Har Matt Harvey comes back in 2015, pitches almost 200 innings with a whip of 1.0 with an ERA of 2.71. Comes back in 2016 and crashes and burns. 2017, crashes and burns. 2018, crashes and burns. 2019, crashes and burns. I don't understand it. So it is what it is. Jimmy Rollins. Column two. The batter is going to be, oh, you see, that takes us to the column two. On this card, right, column two in the die roll. So we're going to roll a die. I'm going to do that. Um, well, we rolled. I don't know if you can use this one or you can't use that one. I'm not totally sure. All right? I'm not sure if you can use that one or not, but I'm going to use it. So if it's the die roll of six uh, on column two, which is here. It's going to be a four. You see that? So that's going to be a four on, on die roll six. And then uh, it's got some numbers on the side there that I don't even recognize those numbers. Now, I can play without this. I can play without this. Oh, the roll, numbers 55 to 60 are going to be here. But you know what? I'm going to try to play with it. I'm going to try to play with it. So it's going to be column six, um, a, a rather a row six is going to be a result four. And then for the pitcher card, it's going to be a five, right? A five in column two is going to be a one. So then a one and a four is a five, and that's going to be a strikeout. So that's going to be a strikeout, um, and that's how I understand that. So Jimmy Rollins is 
struck out. You see what's throwing me off? I don't know why they're showing me 55 to 60 there. They don't need to show me that. I don't understand what the point of that is. So I, I know whatever that is, it has it's it's irrelevant to what I'm doing. I mean, in, I know that in columns two, you get 55 to 60. This may mean that, hey, in results 55 to 60, right? Because ultimately I rolled, uh, I got a four plus a one was a five. And in column two, under a five, it's two to six is strikeout. See that? All right. So I was in column, uh, I was in column two there. So I don't, I don't know what the, what point they're trying to, to make. Um, so anyway, all right. So there's two strikeouts and now we're going to go to Adrian Gonzalez. He's a left-handed batter. All right, so we're going to go with our column, column one, with our batter. So 45, six is 45. And then with our pitcher, is going to be a 46. So column one, column one, 46, is going to be a strikeout or a comeback to the pitcher. So with second, uh, with second base and shortstop playing halfway, score this as a ground ball back to the pitcher. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a strikeout because there's nobody on base. So Matt Harvey strikes out the side. Strike three, Gonzalez down on strikes, and that's three up, three down for Matt Harvey. All right, so that's the first inning of replay baseball. Pretty simple. So now it's going to be Curtis Granderson leading it off for the Mets. He's in right field. In uh, at uh, batting second and at third base is let's go over this guy, David Wright. It's going to be Daniel Murphy at second base, batting third. Batting cleanup is Johannes Cespedes is in left field. At first base is Lucas Duda. He's batting fifth. Batting sixth is Travis Darno. Let's get him. There he is. Uh, he's his catcher. Batting seventh is Wilmer Flores at the shortstop position. Batting eighth is Juan Ligaris in center field. And batting ninth is Harvey, um, Matt Harvey, the pitcher. All right, so let's go. Let's roll for Curtis Granderson. He's a left-handed batter. He hit uh, 26 home runs and 580 at bats. So that's going to be column one again. And it's going to be two. Column one, two is a one. And then column one, two is a strike three. And Granderson strikes out. David Wright, right handed batter. Column one again. The batter is a four, that's a two. And then a five, that's a six. And he, Bryant, Brett Anderson blows it by David Wright for strikeout number two and out number two. And next is Daniel Murphy. He's a left-handed batter. All right, so now that we have uh, column four, now this is usually a defensive column. This is an interesting column. And the reason I know these were strikeouts, remember, on columns one and two, two to six are strikeouts. That's why I didn't pull, I didn't pull the chart. So we're going to have a column four result, right? And we're going to have a five for Murphy, which is a two. And, there, uh, and then we're going to have a five for the pitcher, which is a shortstop. And the shortstop for uh, the Dodgers is a four. So we have a two and a four is a six. And we're going to go to column, column five here. And a six is going to be a base on balls. Let's double check that. Because that's usually a fielding column situation. Right? 
usually a fielding column. So let's see that I'm doing that right. Um, it was a column four, five, and five, a two, and the shortstop is a four. So a two and a four. And I feel that I'm doing that wrong. I don't know why I'm doing that wrong. Oh, wait. Uh, yep. That's where it should be. So that's going to be a base on balls from what my reading of it. So we got a walk. Murphy walks. He's on it first. And Yoenna Cespedes is up. Yoenna Cespedes bats righty. He had 35 home runs, 291 in 2015. 17 of those home runs came in two months with the Mets. Brett Anderson, left-handed pitcher. All right, that's going to be a column three result. Column three, and it's going to be a one, a 31, a 31, and then a two is a 33. Column three, 33. And that's going to be a line out to center field. And right there is the center fielder, Kiki Hernandez, for the out, F8. And after one inning of play, no score. All right, so Matt Harvey facing Justin Turner, Andre Ethier, and Carl Crawford. Here's a pitch that's a one. So column one, and it's a three, which is a 10, and then a four, which is a one. That's an 11, column one, and we're going to go to column one, 11, and that's going to be a single up the middle. And Justin Turner's on first with a knock. So we're going to make that single for Turner, and next is the lefty. Ethier. All right, infield is halfway. Two, so it's going to be a four column, and then it's going to be a two, which is a three, and then a five, which is a shortstop. So a three and a three, that's a six, and that's going to be another walk in column five. Oh, wait, is this column? This is column four. Oh, wait a second. I, that's where I think I screwed up before. I looked at column. Uh, let's see. I looked at column five instead of column six. You see, so I believe that's what I did. And it's a column four. Yeah, so before it should have been a grounder. Should have been a ground ball out right here. So we're going to fix that in a second. We're going to make that a ground ball out. Cespedes is going to be up again. So when we get there. Right now, let's look at column four right here, and then we're going to look at the, the result which was Ethier a two, which was a three. And then on the pitcher's card, Harvey was a five, right? Which was a shortstop. So the, it's going to be a three. It's going to be a seven altogether because the short, no, it's going to be a six. A six, that's going to be a uh, infield halfway is going to be second to first double play. There's an asterisk there, and I think that asterisk has to do with the pivot option. That's optional. I'm not going to go for that right now. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. So it's going to be a 6-4-3 double play turned by, by uh, Wilmer Flores. Two outs. And next is Carl Crawford. So this is going to be column two. And a four in column two is a two. And then a six is a two. And that's strike three. And that retires the side. So now we're going to go back to where we were. In the first inning, we screwed up. And I knew it was something wrong because when you roll a four, that's a fielding column. And I looked at column five. So I made the mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe that out. And then I'm going to basically see what Cespit is. Well, you know what? I'm going to wipe Cespit is out too. Because Cespit is going to be back to the plate. That's okay. We can do that in a tutorial. You can make mistakes. 
That's why I'm doing this as a tutorial. So I make the mistakes and make you guys aware of, hey, Yeah, that's what it was, Sebastian. <laughs> Thank you very much, my brother. I knew there was something wrong I because I haven't played since uh, July. I The last time I played this was in July, and, and I had a feeling this doesn't make sense because I know it's a fielding play. Uh, four column is a fielding play. And then when I saw a walk, that's a, it didn't make sense. And it stuck with me, and I was thinking about it as I'm trying to figure this out. So thank you very much for reminding me. I appreciate that. So. So it was a ground ball to, uh, I can't remember who it was. Does it really matter? No. Okay. So Cespedes is going to be up. Um, let's do the batter on top. So Cespedes is going to be up. And let's bring him back up. The great thing about uh, tabletop baseball, go back in time, make the adjustments you want. All right, so let's go. Yoannis Cespedes, right-handed batter with a lot of power, hit 35 home runs, batted 291 against Brett Anderson with a 370 ERA and 180 innings. So he had a pretty good season. Don't know whatever happened to him. Don't know where he went. That's a column one. That's a column one. And then it's a five column one. So that's a four, right? Uh, right here, five, uh, five is a one, and then the four goes down here, and that's going to be a four altogether, a one and a three, right? A one and a three is a four, and on column one, we we remember that two to six is a strikeout, so that's strike three. So Yoana Cespedes strikes out. No big surprise there. Next batter is Lucas Duda, lefty versus lefty. Two column. Two column. Two column two is an 11. And then two column one is a 14. A 14 on the two column. And that's going to be a single to center field. So Lucas Duda lines it to center, and he's on first. So both team have hits now. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. Appreciate that, brother. Travis Starno with one out here in the bottom half of the second inning. Travis Darno. Now, Darno, a crazy story with Darno in 2019. Darno started off at the Mets, was batting 043. The Mets basically DFA'd him. He signed with Dodgers, played in three games. He got DFA'd again. And then, lo and behold, the Rays pick him up, the Tampa Bay Rays, and he ends up being their number one catcher, ends up hitting 16 home runs and batting 250 for the season. Yes. Crazy story. He was at one time, you know, he was the, the Mets' number one catcher. When they went to the World Series, he was their main catcher. He had 239 at bats with 12 home runs. He was injured on and off. That's why he didn't have more. But he was their main catcher during that time. All right, so it's Travis Darno uh, with one out. And I should get rid of that line because that line is totally messing my brain up. Because it makes it seem like I'm using those lines to separate the innings. So this is the bottom of the second inning. And here it goes. Here's Travis Darnell. See what happens. So we're going to go with column three. And then we're going to go with five, right? Column three, five. And that's going to be a shadowed, a shadowed uh, result. And that's going to take us to the ballpark card. So then we're going to look at that five is going to be a res same result there, right? It's going to be a three. Okay, um, it's going to be a three there, and then the uh, the two is going to be down here, right? And it's going to be a column three two result. So that's going to be a three, and then a two is a five in column three this time. A five.
five in column three, and that's a short fly ball to shallow left field, right? Running in is the left fielder, Carl Crawford. He makes the catch for out number two. That's a fly to left. Hey, Philip in town. Philip is in the house, and my camera's going bazookies. Try to adjust it, and then it kind of adjusts itself. And this is because of all the movement and stuff that I got going on. Every time I put my hands in front of the camera, it uh, it's it's been having this issue for a long time. So I'm going to invest in a new camera because this is a little bit of a drag here. Let me see if I can adjust it. You see? So it corrects itself, but I'm going to have to move some stuff over. I'm going to have to move some stuff over, and hopefully it won't go bonkers again on me. All right. So now it's going to be Wilmer Flores, the batter. So I'm showing you how to play replay baseball. Haven't played it in a while. There we go. Let me take a sip. Um, there's no score here. We're in the bottom of the second inning. Mets have a runner at first. Lucas Duda, remember him? He used to play with the Mets. This is 2015. And it's Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores went over to, uh, he was released by the Mets in 20, early 2019 or late 2018. Played with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Batted over 300. I think he batted about 320. Tell Santa. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Let us roll. Let's see if I can get everything in, in the screen here. All right. That's going to be a four-column result. And for the batter, it's going to be a four-column four. And this is the fielding column. So this already gives you an idea of what may happen. It's going to be a 17. A four-column four is a 17 on Wilmer Flores. So you got to remember that number, 17. And on the pitcher... It's going to be a three, which is the third baseman. Third baseman for LA, uh, LA is Turner, and Turner is a three. So a 17 plus a three is a 20. So column four, a 20 is a grounder out at first, runners advance. There's some sort of asterisk, but I'm not going to worry about that asterisk. I'm just going to play it straight up without the extra information. So it's going to be a five to three put out. And that is going to retire the Mets. So after two innings of play, no score. Matt Harvey's on the mound for the Mets. He's got four strikeouts so far. They want him to, uh, well, yeah. All right. So it's going to be Yasmani Grandal. He's a switch hitter. He'll be batting lefty. He batted 234 in 2015 with 355 at bats and 16 home runs. Here's the pitch. All right, it's going to be a column one result. It's going to be a five, which is a four. It's got a little thingy there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Like I said, I'm going to keep it very simple, very straight. No added symbols. So that's going to be a four result. And then a six result, that's going to be a strike three. It's, the total result is a five, and I know two to six on column one. That's a strikeout. So that's strikeout number five for Matt Harvey. And it's Enrique Hernandez. One out in the top of the third. That's going to be column five. And that's going to be a six for Enrique Hernandez, which is a one. And then a, a one is going to be a two. A two in column five. Let's see what that becomes. A two in column five is going to be a ground ball to first base. And, and I, I usually roll one die, and if it's a one to a, a an eight sided die, and if it's a one and two, it's a three, it's a one to three. But I'm just going to do a basically three unassisted, three U for this one. There's two outs now, and now it's a pitcher card, pitcher hitting card, and that's going to be a six result, and it's going to be a three, so it's a thirty six, a thirty six. And a 6-1 is a 38. Column 6, 38. And that's going to be a strikeout. That's three outs. 
And that's strikeout number six for Matt Harvey. And after two and a half, no score. So as you can see, a pretty interesting game. <laughs> Post-19. But I watch anyway. Your play-by-play -play is relaxing. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> All right. So it's going to be Brett Anderson. Brett Anderson is going to face Juan Ligaris, Matt Harvey, the pitcher, and then it's uh, Curtis Grandis in the top of the order again. Now, the way you play replay baseball, we're in the bottom of the third. You read the red first. That's your column. Remember, these are columns and rows on both cards, and there's an interaction. And then you're going to read your batter, and then you're going to read your pitcher result. Um, it's going to tell you the numbers. You add the numbers together, and you look on the chart. That's what we've been doing. Pretty simple. So it's a six. It's a six column. That's pretty good. That's like a home run uh, column. So if, there, if there's going to be some action, it could be from that column. A one on Ligaris, which is a 16, and then a two, which is a shortstop. So this, um, when this happens, it becomes a shaded shortstop means a potential error here. So that I think that moves us to column. We're going to read off column four just from common sense. All right. Because sometimes when it tells you to read it off column six, you go to column six. Sometimes what this is basically, this is a, uh, a ground ball pitcher, a ground ball pitcher. And that's what that becomes. I believe it takes us to column um, column four. So we're going to read the results off the main chart on column four. All right. So this column six has become a column four. So then we're going to do all the results off column four. And it's going to be um, – so let's start again. So if this is column four, it's going to be an 11, right, an 11. And it's going to be a, a shortstop. And our sh the shortstop for the Dodgers is a four, right? So an 11 and a four is a 15. A 15 in column four. A 15 in column four is a possible error. You see that? Roll three dice against the fielding the, the fielder's error rating. And this is pretty simple. You look at your, your pitch, your uh, shortstop, and he's a 56. He's got a 56 there. So if I roll higher than a 56, it's going to be an error. If I roll lower than a 56, there's no error. We roll a 54. So he gets to the ball, makes a throw, and there's one out. So it's going to be six to three. And that's how you play that. So that just tells you to go back to the other. So this guy doesn't give up a lot of fly balls. He gives up more ground balls. And that's what that's all about there. And let me just bring this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And you know what? I'm going to put this over down here. That's the – and that now you can see everything, I think, a little bit better. All right. So now it's the pitcher, Matt Harvey, comes to the plate. Let's roll for him. We're, it's a column two result. Six on Harvey, that's a five, and then a one, and that's going to be an, uh, a one on column two is an eight. A five and a three is an eight on column two, and let's take a look at the chart. An eight on column two is going to be a foul ball to the left side over his turner, and he makes the catch. So it's foul five, two outs. And next is Curtis Granderson against Brett Anderson. And here's the pitch. That's a six. That's good home run potential there. A three is a 16. That may be a little bit high for, for what we wanted, but we don't know what's going to happen yet. Uh, then a five is going to be a 16, and a three is a 19 on the six column. A 19, and that's going to be a deep fly to right field, back goes Ethier to the track and makes the catch, right? And that's going to retire the side. So it's going to be an F9. And we played three innings complete with no score. 
So we've got a pretty good pitcher's duel going here. I said I was only going to play three innings, but I think I'll play just a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll play four innings. Let's get through four innings. There we go. You can see that there. And let's let's roll since it's getting a little bit faster and I'm starting to remember it a little bit better. All right. So that's a six, six column. A five, Howie, Howie Kendrick, that's a 36. And then a 36 and a three, which is a two, right? It's going to be a 38. A 38 in column six. Let's look what that becomes. A 38 in column six is a strikeout. So Matt Harvey blows it by Howie Kendrick for his seventh strikeout of the game. Second time he struck out Howie Kendrick. Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy Rollins is in the twilight of his career. He batted 224 with 13 home runs and 12 stolen bases. This was a guy who was stealing 30, 40 stolen bases every year. All right, so it's going to be a column five result. Column five result of four is going to be a 45. So let's remember a 45. And then a one is a 46. So column five, 46 is going to be a fly ball center field. So that's going to be two outs. Running it down is Juan Ligaris. And it's Adrian Gonzalez now. No score after three. Dodgers at Mets. The Dodgers lead the series three to two. So we definitely want the Mets to win this one. It's going to be a two result. A six. It's going to be shaded area. Shaded area, which brings this into play. Right, so we're looking up here. So we roll the six in the shaded area. So that's going to be a four. Right? That's going to be a four. And then the blue on the pitcher is going to be a one. And that's going to be strike three. I believe I'm doing that right. If I'm doing that wrong, let me know. But um, – there's a couple of guys out there that know this. I know Sebastian was around before. He may have gone, may have vanished. All right. So, uh, and that's going to retire the Dodgers in order again. He's retired them three out of four times in order. And one time he did the same, but he required a double play. He's only allowed one hit, Matt Harvey has, so far. So City Field is helping us out so far. And uh, Brett Anderson is going to face David Wright, the David Wright. He was a hero, a, a, a City Field and Shea Stadium hero for many, many years for the Mets. He retired last year. So I'm going to play one more inning here, and then I'm going to uh, retire to uh, find out to some of the forums and ask some questions, particularly about uh, that, that second column column two, because it says 55 to 60. Now, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure why, why that's there. I mean, I don't need, I, I, it doesn't matter to me what's there. I mean, I, aren't I just supposed to read these numbers? So I got to see what that means. All right. So it's going to be David Wright. It's a column four. That's a fielding column usually. A five is an 18. An 18 and a one is first baseman. The first baseman is a one, so that's an 18. That's going to be a 19 in column five, and a 19 in column five is an infield single. And then it takes us to the M action chart. So an infield single for David Wright, and then the M action chart. Let's see what that means. And I have that down here under my table. There's another chart here. The M action chart is right there. I'm going to roll two dice and add them. That's going to be a 10 that says pass ball. And I think that's what, uh, let's see. Action chart. Use action chart. Refer to matching column, letter, red, white, felt, blue die roll if needed. So that's a pass ball. Okay, here it is. Pass ball, if blue die is higher than the catcher's, I didn't roll with the, okay, let's roll that. All right, a six, that's going to be higher. So if, if, if the blue die is higher than the PB rating on the catcher, right, and the catcher 
is uh, what's his face? Is Monty Grandal? I believe it's a uh, it's a three. I believe. Well, it's a three or a two. Either way, it's. I think that the the brackets is his arm, from what I remember. So then it's a if it's higher than the catcher's pass ball rating, um, and then we can look at that real quick. I have that here. It tells you about the. the um, this is his fielding, and then the brackets. Uh, in parentheses, is the catchers have a pass ball rating in parentheses. There, thank you very much. Okay, so his pass pass ball rating is a two. It's still going to be a pass ball. All right. So he reaches second on a pass ball. So now right goes to second. So we have a runner in scoring position. So we're after three and a half innings of play. There's no score, but the Mets have a runner in scoring position. Daniel Murphy. Uh huh. A one column one result. A two is a 35, and a two is a three. That's a 38 in column one. A 38 in column one. 38, 38, 38. Ground ball to third base. And the infield with a runner at second, right? Uh, and uh, let's see. Suggestions. Let's see what it says here. Man off, man on second, first base in, others back. One out, all back. None out. So first base in, others back, man on second. All right. And that was a ground ball to third. So runners are going to advance on that from what I can understand. So infield back, out at first, runners, runners advance. So right goes to third. So there's one out runner on third here. So the it, it's a little bit early to bring anybody in. I, I just I'm gonna go by the suggested. So man on third with one out, all in. So it recommends that you play them all in. With bases empty or two outs, play all back. When the runner on third is a key run tie or one run game, play all in when the runner on third means little, shared by uh, or ahead by four runs plus play halfway with one out at first, play all back. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to play the infield in, I guess, in this situation. Joanna Cespedes against Brett Anderson, one out, runner on third. David Wright is on a third base. It's no score here in the bottom of the fourth. So that's going to be a two result, right? And there it's going to be a four, and that's going to be 16. A 16 and a six is a 20. A 20 on column two, see what that is. That's going to be a fly ball to right. Runner on third, runner with uh, with a runner on third base and less than two outs to sacrifice fly. So the Mets score the first run of the game. Deep fly by Cespedes is into right field. And Ethier, no chance for a throw. In comes right with the first run of the game. Mets lead at 1-0 after three and a half. Two outs in the bottom half of the fourth inning. And it's going to be Lucas Duda. Duda singled in his last at bat. All right. It's going to be a column one result on Duda's card. It's going to be a 45, column one, 45. And then a four, column one, four. is going to be a 45, and a three is 48. 48, column one. And that's going to be a strikeout or a comebacker. So, with second shortstop playing halfway, they're not playing halfway, they're playing back. Score this as a ground ball back to the pitcher. All right, so if they were playing halfway and they're not, so it's going to be a strikeout. And that's going to retire the side, but the Mets have taken the lead. And then Brett Anderson, let's count. He has 24 batters face. So that's nine. That would be 18, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is where he would have to be replaced right here. 
Okay. So that's how I'm doing that. And uh, Mets pick up a run and they lead it. Remember, this is an elimination game for the Mets. So I played four innings. And uh, I believe I'm going to stop there. Although I'm, I'm tempted to play one more inning. I keep on saying one more inning, one more inning, right? Because I want to give guys a chance to uh, – In case you're watching this as a as a tutorial, I want you to get a chance to watch it in, in small chunks because I think uh, what I do when it's a long video, I just chunk, I stop it. I watch 20 minutes, I stop it. When I when I notice myself not paying attention, I stop it and I come back to it. So I try to really pay attention if I'm if I'm watching it for you know whatever time, uh, I'll really try to pay attention. And once I start at noticing myself not paying attention, then I'll say I'm out of here. So. Uh, I think I'm going to stop it right now, and I'm going to come back with the second half. I think that's the best way to do that. Wow, so you can't write on this whiteout. I'm noticing that. It's really hard. It doesn't, doesn't allow you to write on it very well. Maybe a pen. I'm using ink here. So we're in the top of the fifth. It's one nothing Mets. The only Met run came on a sacrifice fly by jo Joanna Cespedes. He drove in uh, David Wright, who singled, then reached second on a pass ball, and went to, went to third on a ground ball to the third baseman, Turner. Um, and then uh, he was uh, he scored on the sacrifice fly to right by Ioannis Cespedes. And that's the score right now, and we're going to stop right here, and uh, I will be back. Take care, guys.